Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I am a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you are seeing my face for the first time, if you are new to this channel, you are welcome. And I want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. Join the family. Thank you for joining the family. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment, like, share, make friends. I have some people in my comment section that are actually friends at this point. So make friends. And yeah, this is a very lovely community or lovely family to be a part of. Okay. Yes. And if you're a returning subscriber, you guys are the best. Yes. Please help me welcome our new subscribers just with them, you know, share drinks. The drinks are on me. Just share drinks first. <laughs> I'll pay later. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing about house helps domestic staff or pair domestic assistant uh house worker house help nanny whatever you want to call them anybody that you employ to come and work in your house i want to be discussing how we can get the best out of the relationship how we can avoid them running through our houses like some people our houses are like train stations yeah people are always coming and going people are always coming and going today somebody will come stay one month another person will come stay one week another person will come stay three, three months okay yeah to prevent high rate of turnover of helps um and what you can do to actually like get a, have a very beneficial relationship between the both of you okay so, so many people see me and ask me oh where did you get amarachi from for if you guys don't know amarachi is the person that you know helps me with my kids in the house okay so many people always ask me where did you get her from oh i like the people's relationship this that this that it's a mutual thing okay she's actually a very nice person but at the same time i do some things too to you know keep it mutual okay keep the niceness mutual so that you know everybody's satisfied okay so those are the things i want us to discuss in this video and yeah mistakes that you should avoid making and yeah i also want to talk about women who maltreat house helps like i don't want to believe that we are all mad i don't i don't want to believe that it's only few of us that are, that are actually saying in this country but for the sake of you know this video we're going to be discussing it and addressing some of these issues because it's now it's no more funny like it's not funny anymore okay yeah so if you would like to join this conversation then just keep on watching <laughs> Oh, it seems I was sitting like a pregnant woman today because my back is already paining me. Why would any sane person go and hire a child? I don't even want to call it hire a child. You can't hire a child. Like, the child does not have the ability to, to consent to being hired, okay? You cannot go and hire a child and bring to your house and tell me that that child is your house help. You see a child of eight years bathing a, 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 a newborn baby or a child of one year, two years, three years, four years. Some children of eight years bath their mates. On the name of house help okay if that is the kind of situation you have in your house please just tell god to forgive you kindly return that child back to the parents because it does not make sense it does not make sense i see things on the on the on the news about women who born children born i mean with fire you know pour hot water on them use nails on them flog them till their bodies peel i'm like what kind of evil is this i like why are women being this evil every time we'll be shouting oh male oppression male oppression let me tell you some of those women their anger is that they are not the one being they are not, they are not the ones oppressing others that's just their anger they are not against oppression they are just against men oppressing them they would rather oppress the men or oppress the children around them than to be oppressed that's just their anger i cannot fathom why a woman who has a child you have a child then because the child you brought to come and help your child is fell asleep while carrying the baby or something you now torture the treat the child like an animal like <sighs> let me not even get into that okay all i'm saying is that i feel like the house help industry in nigeria yes it's, a, it's, a, it's an industry okay and i'm sure it's worth a lot of millions of that uh, of naira or, or billions of naira i don't know but it's a it's a real industry there are people who live on it there are people who call themselves agents all they do is source helps for people okay that industry needs to be regulated it needs to be regulated we need to all have certificate of you know, employee or whatever of, <laughs> of employership. <laughs> we need to all sign a certificate. We need to all have a certificate that this person is certified to have a help and the help is so, so, so and so age and the help does this and is going to be doing this and doing that, okay? I'm just saying, but I feel like there needs to be something. The government needs to step in and regulate these things, okay? That person is your ward. The person is not your help. I don't care the arrangement you have with the person's parents. I don't want to. I don't care. 
That person should be your ward. You should be a guardian to that child, okay? And as a guardian, you cannot treat the child like a help. You're going to treat the child like another child in your house as a guardian. That's the way it should be. Now, for instance, I cannot, like if I had an eight-year-old daughter, would I say that she cannot, you know, sweep the house or she cannot um, carry her younger sibling? I'm not saying she can't do that, but it's not her primary responsibility. I'm not employing her for that or I'm not paying her for, as a, I don't explain it. She's just helping me out in the house, okay? So, if you have a ward in your house that is just helping you, helping you, it's, 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 it's even, I can, I, can, I can accept it a bit. But if it's that the child's responsibility is that you wake up in the morning, you set the bath water for the baby, you do this one, you do that one, you do that one, you do that one. Some of them don't even go to school. They're the ones that manage to go to school. They go to school late, come back from school early, and continue working. That what happened? If it's your child, will you accept it? If your child, will you, will you teach your child like that? So, yeah, as much as if you had a child who is 8, 9, 10, I mean, the child is old enough to do some chores in the house. Those are chores. But not that you give the child responsibility and then you punish the child severely if they now feel like that responsibility. <laughs> to me, it's not acceptable, okay? So if you are bringing a ward into your house and you are going to be the person's guardian, give the person age-appropriate chores to do. Don't tell me that an 8 year old is a nanny. What, 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 what is she nanny? Like, she needs a nanny. We've always had, you know, evil women. So it's not a new thing, but I feel like this generation, we should be the ones to change the narrative. And thankfully, I have uh, most of my, in fact, all my friends who have helps, I've not seen any of them who are, are that stupid. Like, in fact, most of my friends who have, have helps, if you see their relationship with their helps, I'll just be like, ah, thank God I have friends that have sense like this, yeah. All my friends who have helped, I've not seen anyone that is, first of all, they don't even have underage children in their houses. And, you know, even the helps that they have who are mature adults, they take care of them very well and you know they have very fantastic relationships even when relationship breaks it is never because of what madame did so anyway yeah now let me move on to mistakes that you need to avoid so that you get the best out of the relationship between you and your help okay i'm not saying that if you do all these things you are going to have a fantastic help and she will not uh, run away or steal your money or beat your child or maltreat your, your your child or whatever i'm not saying that some people are just plain evil like, it doesn't matter what you do to them they are going to steal continue in their evilness okay that is a different ball game but all i'm saying is that let it not be that it is because of what you did that you know the person now reciprocated or the person now couldn't stay okay so yeah basically for me the first mistake most people make is hiring an underage help i've talked about that one to me it's not a help the person does not have the ability to sign consent or to agree to even legally agree to come and live with you so to me, that's not a help. You're just, you're just doing child trafficking, okay? But if you have an adult help, then number one mistake is not for you. The number two mistake that most people make is they do not specify the job of the help or the job of whoever they are hiring. They do not specify the job. Some people just bring someone into their home to come and take over the home. Let's think about this thing logically. You yourself, you could not take care of those children or that home alone you decided to employ um, the help of a help okay you decided to get someone who's going to help now why are you leaving all the work to that person if you that has the best is the thing is in your own interest you cannot do it you will not go and employ somebody and leave all the work to that person for me it is wrong okay you shouldn't have one person who doubles as nanny as cook as cleaner as a gate man, as errand girl, as a, a, a shop assistant, as everything. You should not have one person who does all that, okay? Now, yes, you can, no? if, if the person is old enough and the person agrees they can do it, you can. But the person is not going to give you the most um, value or the pe person is not going to be very good at their job because they have multiple things that they are doing. One person, she will bath the baby, she will cook for you, she will clean your house. She, no, to me, it's wrong, okay? For instance, in my own case, we have a cleaner who does all the cleaning. I do all the cooking and I'm actually helps with, you know, little, little thing around the house. Like maybe somebody spills milk and we don't, the cleaner is not around. Okay, I'm actually clean this, clean this milk or, you know, stay with the kids while I do something else. Or, you know, they're hungry, you put sugar and eat, you know, stuff like that. Oh, they're ready to get to bed, let's get them ready for bed. You know, stuff like that. That's the kind of thing she does around the house. She's not a, she doesn't cook for me, she doesn't clean for me, okay? When the job is limited, when you have just few things that you need to do and you know your job description it's hard for you to except you're a senseless or you're a, you're a dull person it's hard for you to feel that a limited you know specific job that when all your job when your work is just anywhere do this do that do this do that from morning till night okay if the person for instance if a manager decides to help me do something else 
I will not tell her not to do it though. The only thing is that sometimes I try to dash her money. You know, I tell her thank you more than usual, but I just let her know that, oh, I really appreciate you going above and beyond. But that does not mean that you will not now neglect the, the primary one you're supposed to be doing, okay? So yeah. Now the second mistake that many people make is that they do not coach or teach their helps or their domestic staff when they first come. In fact, teaching and coaching should be a continuous thing, but especially when they first arrive at your house, you are supposed to teach them their job. No matter how they tell you, and of course when they come, they tell you, ah, auntie, as a big cook, or especially if you, maybe if you're hiring a cook, as a big cook, I've been cooking for the past 15 years. Ah, the former place where I was, they were begging me, this one, they always do that, okay? So I will come, ah, me, as a big take care of Pekino, I carry 15 children for my, for my auntie, I carry this one for my neighbor, you know, they always come and, you know, toast their horns and try to make you feel like they know their jobs. That's fine, okay? But at the same time, remember that you are not the one that trained them. It wasn't your kids they carried before. So they, they can't actually know how to do these things the way you want them to do. Except if they are very, very good. Or if you are not even good at it, and then you see someone who is better at it. For instance, if when I had my, my last help, she taught me how to cook afang soup. She's from, she was from, um, uh, she's from Akwai Bomb, okay? Taught me how to cook afang soup and stuff like that. So in that kind of case, she's actually the one who, who taught me some things. But, you know, generally, how things should be done in the house to suit my taste, I have to instruct and teach and coach and guide my, you know, staff on what to do. So not after one week, you start complaining. Ah, I don't like the way she cleans. This girl is so, you know, disorganized. She's so this, she's so that. Ah, ah, ah. You don't even know how to serve food. Is that how they serve food? You don't even know how to, you know, clean baby's bum bum. Is that how they clean baby's bum bum? You don't even know how to, you know, you're going to give yourself stress. I are going to make the person feel bad for nothing, okay? So when the person comes, and don't expect them overnight to do things the way you do them, okay? So when the person comes, you keep teaching them. Even till today, there's something that I still have to remind them, Marachi, this is not how how it's supposed to be done do it this way okay but generally once you get somebody who is smart you don't need to teach too much like for instance even in the marriage's case even though there's some things i still teach her all the time majority of the things that you know i taught her and she knows to do now i taught her only once okay just at least try and put in effort and coach these people on what you want them to do and how you want them to do those things and then you know with time you'll see that they'll actually be good at it and even better at it you know than you expected but if you just bring them into your house and expect them to just know how you do things in your house overnight, it's not fair, okay? Yeah, so another mistake many people make is that they do not give their helps or their assistant or domestic staff time off. You need to give them time off, okay? Now, the time off can be in a day off, a weekend off, a night off, a whatever off. Especially if they live with you, give them some time to just relax and not be stressed by their jobs, okay? Now, in your own case, you go to, you have a nine to five, you go there, you come back in the evening, you are off work. Sometimes you take leave, you take sick leave, you take this, you take that, okay? So if you have a help, it's the same thing. So another mistake people make is that they blur the lines between employer and employee, especially when you hire an immature help, okay? And it's someone you like. You know, there's some people that just come to your house and you just like them. At some point, they become like your sisters, you know? They become like your sisters, you joke with them, you laugh with them, <laughs> they will bring gossip, you will laugh. <laughs> you know, they bring they bring hot gist, you are gisting. Ah, you are watching Big Brother together, insulting the uh, 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 Tata and the uh, uh, Messi. All of you are, you, are, you know, you are just <laughs> blurring the line, small, 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 small. Okay? They bring fights, you follow them and fight. You know, they bring gist from the village, from their auntie, from their uncle. You know, all those kind of things. It's fine, no, I'm not saying that you should not be that free with your help because me, I'm free with Amarachi, like, I did some, did some, sometimes you come and gossip some things to me, I'll be like, eh, really? Yeah, but you need to still draw the line, okay? You need to still establish your position as an employer because that's where insult comes in. That's where misbehavior comes in. That's where at some point you can't even control your house again. It's almost like everybody's doing what they want to do. So people actually now, because they don't want to blur the lines, they are now too strict. Please try and not be too strict with your help. <laughs> don't be a weekend madam. <laughs> yes, all this weekend madam we're talking about. Some of you are, weak, are the weekend madams we talk about, but you don't know. Don't be too strict with your help. You know, they are still human beings, for goodness sake. And many of them left their lives, their families, their friends to come and live with you, okay? So, and especially if you now have little, little children, you are almost like the nearest thing they have to a friend than your kids. And they're living in your house. So, 
who else can they really associate with on a daily basis that will not make them, you know, run mad? <laughs> okay. Try and ask them questions, know about their lives, know about their families, know what they are going through, show interest in their lives. Don't be too strict. And some things that I allow a man to do, not because I, I cannot do them myself. I just allow her to do them so that she will feel free. She's one that this is her own food. I don't serve her. I don't I don't bring food out of pots and give her. Except maybe, oh, um, I'm serving my husband and I'm serving myself and at the same time she's, she says she's hungry or she's ready to eat. I'll serve her at the same time because I'm already there at the pot. But on a normal day, I carry my food, I go. Anything you want to go and take, take. Any, if you want to finish all the meat in the pot, finish it. <laughs> it is meat, you. <laughs> Any amount you want to eat, eat. I know the funny thing. Because I've given her such freedom, she does not abuse it. She does not. You will leave your help with your child 247. You don't know what is going on. But you will never allow that help to just carry food from the pot. You will never allow that help have a drink from your fridge. You will never allow that help, you know, breathe, drink and, 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 and keep cup. You will never allow that help drink, drink water and keep cup. But the same you, you can entrust your most prized possession, your children, you can entrust your children with this, with this uh, assistance or help or nannies and go out for long periods of time during the day. It's ordinary for them to eat whatever they want to eat or cook whatever they want to cook in your house. You cannot accept it. To me, it's just like it's misplaced priorities, okay? So yeah, for me, freedom to my kitchen, anything you want to cook, cook anything you want to eat, eat. Any, if you want to take 15 minutes, take calm. Let me see where the food will enter. <laughs> but the only restriction that I put is... If you know you find drinks in the fridge or snacks or whatever and you want, just ask me before you take it because it might be for someone, it might be for my husband, it might be that I'm keeping it for visitors, okay? That's the only restriction I put. But every other thing, <laughs> take calm, okay? So another mistake many people make is that they do not have the assistant or the help's best interest at heart, okay? They do not seek the improvement or development or growth or progress of whoever is living with them sometimes for selfish reasons sometimes because they just don't care but if you do not seek the growth or the progress of the person living with you it can actually make them very sad uncomfortable and want to leave okay now let me give you an example if in your place of work you have a boss who He's always showing you new opportunities. He's always sending you for trainings. He's always asking you where do you see yourself in this company in the next five years? What are you doing to get yourself to the next level? He's always, you know, advising you on what to do. He's always helping you to, you know, make better choices in life generally. I'm sure it will be very difficult for you to leave that organization. Even if they are paying you not so much. Even when they're paying you is not much. You will find it hard to leave. And even when you leave... You always remember that your boss. In fact, if anybody asks you today that ah, can I? I want to employ. I want to. Um, I want to apply to this particular company. Should I go ahead? You tell the person a hundred percent go ahead. Okay, you recommend the best staff to go and work for that your boss. Okay, so that's the same way it is with anybody who is living with you. Try and have their best interest at heart. For me and my husband, whenever we get a new person in this house, we always ask them, "What are your plans for your life?" I don't need anybody that wants to come to my house, does not have plan, just want to live and make money and just be there. No, I don't like it, okay? What are your plans? Are you trying to go to school? Are you trying to save up money for a business? Are you trying to, you know, learn a trade? Are you trying to do something? You must actually have a plan for your life if you're coming to stay in my house, okay? For instance, I had a help who told me she wanted to just stay one year. And she stayed one year. After that one year, she left. <laughs> she can have no, no issues. I didn't even feel bad because she told me she was going to stay one year and I knew she was going to stay one year. I'm not going to hold back anybody because I need help. Like, <laughs> help them, you know, study. Help them write jump. Help them save money for school. Help them, you know, make progress. Okay? You will not die if you go and buy jump form for somebody. You will not die if you agree to pay for someone's school fees. You will not die if you allow your help go and learn a trade while working for you. You will not die if you allow your help go and, uh, you know, be an apprentice is why working for you okay all these things are just little little sacrifices that you can make for someone else's life that tomorrow wherever the person is the person will never ever forget what to do for them even if the person is evil <laughs> even if the person goes tomorrow out goes out tomorrow to go and badmouth you somehow somehow as they're about nothing you they'll say uh, yeah i know yes yeah, she even paid for me to go to school though, but the woman is too this people will now be like uh-uh you mean she paid your school fees you mean she paid for you to go for this thing and you're still but you know at the end of the day no matter how your good will always speak for you also try and pay well and give incentives okay pay well and give incentives now when i say pay well i'm not saying you should go and carry 
200,000 and pay somebody because person that pays to clean your house. And that's not what I'm saying. But try and pay a decent amount of money that at least you you feel all right with yourself. You will sleep better at night and the person too will also be happy, okay? Some people leave their place of work because what you're paying them is peanuts. It doesn't even make sense. Like, it's just because they are desperate. They take the job. At once they see something better, they're out of there because the money is too small, okay? So try and... Um, pay well enough and try and give incentives. Yes, incentives are very important. In your place of work, Christmas, they give you people bag of rice, this one, hamper, bubo tibo, and it makes you happy. It's the same way you should give your staff incentives. Dash them. I said I dash Amarachi money sometimes. Dash them money sometimes. Dash them clothes. Dash them hair. You know, allow them, you know, enjoy themselves. Take them out. You know, these are little things that won't cost you much, but it will actually do a lot in the person's psyche, in the person's mindset. It actually does a lot for them. Try and, you know, give them Christmas bonus, give them Christmas gifts, do birthday parties for them, you know, celebrate their birthday, celebrate their means, their milestones with something tangible, okay? Actual gifts. And that also brings me to the last point, which is show appreciation open appreciation when they do something good when they do something well when they improve in whatever they are doing say thank you good job wow you did this are you serious wow that's actually very nice wow thank you and something i managed to do for me today i'm like hey nah, you just saved my life because god knows i won't have done this thing okay <laughs> it doesn't mean that i couldn't have done those things myself but the truth is that she has helped me do something that i would have stressed myself to go and do so show up open appreciation tell them thank you okay it goes a long way to just say thank you you some people don't some people can never say thank you like somebody has helped you clean your whole house do this one do that one do that one next you say have you finished okay you can go no say thank you you will not die <laughs> you will wake up the next morning say thank you okay say wow you did a good job say wow you did this are you serious ah had, come and show me how you did it okay try and make them feel good boost their ego Okay, so yeah, these are things that, they are little, little, if at first I'm concerned, all these things I mentioned are little things, little things you can do, but they go a very, 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 very long way, okay? So yeah, I've rambled on too much in this video. I hope it's not too long, but I, I, I'm sorry, I can't help it, okay? So yeah, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Let me know, you know, other mistakes that I did not mention that we can avoid. Let me know, you know, like I said, doing all these things does not mean that the person is going to be a good person person to you but let it not be that because of what you did that the person now you know retaliated or revenge or left your house or something let it be that when god comes to judge you can sit down be sipping your, your tea while god is judging the person <laughs> okay yeah so um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video and please do not hire small children in your house if you do that you need to be persecuted thank you <laughs>